You know, when you're doing process reengineering or you're completing a project, often it can seem very daunting. It's a bit like a piece of code that is extremely complicated. You don't know what it really does. So it's very important to proceed exactly the same way as you would if you were to refactor code, which means try to identify the subparts, make sure that they are encapsulated in functions, in classes, and make sure that the relationships between these functions and classes is clear, well understood, you know, if there are different threads, that there's appropriate rendezvous and so on. Now, this is fine by Steve the engineer, but Steve the manager or Steve the social scientist says that it's not complete, it's not enough. Each of these functions and classes, well, they are going to be run by human beings. And human beings, well, uh, sometimes they react a little bit differently depending on the day. Uh, Maybe that they are sick, maybe they are in vacations, uh, maybe that they are not motivated to do this, maybe that they are just pushing it uh, on the back burner because they have other priorities to take care of. So how do you deal with this? Well, you start by making things clear, that expectations are clear, and just make sure that these are measured and they are properly enforced. But Maybe it's not enough. Maybe you also have to think about, is there a way that I can provide proper incentives in order for people to actually do the right thing, to make sure that the process works as it should? Perhaps that you want to make sure that the process works in their favor as well. 